Over a third of doctors on the UK medical register today gained their primary qualifications overseas. But having arrived, many find the road ahead is far from smooth. Dr. Telal Madawi, consultant interventional cardiologist at Wrightington Wigan and Lee Hospital, came to England from his home in Sudan in 1996. He explains that when it comes to the way people talk to each other, things are different in Sudan. It's not uncommon for a group of Sudanese people, you find them talking, chatting, shouting at each other, uh, and uh, you know they, 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 they just carry on talking normally at the end. No offence taken by any party. What patients in Britain expect from their doctor differs too from what you might expect. Ensure that you use a lot of please and thank you words. These are very important words. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they are a sign of politeness here. Mm -hmm. You need to introduce yourself to patients. Explanation. When you speak to a patient, when you examine a patient, the patient deserve an explanation as to what it is that's happening. They need to know what the plan of action is. Um, they'll ask you questions. Even without them asking you questions, you'll need to be able to offer an explanation as to what's happening. Knowing how to get on with your colleagues is vital. In Britain, the working culture in hospitals is a team culture, which includes nurses and other healthcare professionals. In Sudan, and I'm sure in other places in the world as well, there isn't that team culture there. Oh. Still works to a degree, but you know, it's not uncommon for doctors to give plain orders to nurses, do this, do that, do the other. In maybe if, if that were to have been seen here, it would be perceived as very, very rude again. My start um, in the NHS and in the UK generally could have been much easier had someone sat down with me and explained to me what I've just been saying. Alongside his day job, Dr Madawi is a clinical advisor on cardiology for the Parliamentary Health Ombudsman and also mentors junior doctors because he remembers how it felt to be an outsider. Rather than criticise and blame junior doctors who are very um, new to the NHS, who are new to the country, um, it's best if we help them, support them, because at the end of the day they're not here to commit crimes, they're here to help patients and train. Many doctors from overseas plan to return home, but for Dr Madawi, things changed. The realisation that I will not be able to uh, be a fully trained consultant within three years or four years or even five years, I will need longer. I wish I'd known that I would end up staying for much longer in the UK and that I would change my mind. And there's no way of knowing that. Um, I remember when I first came in, I met a colleague, a senior colleague, who told me that uh, I, was, I was then in the UK only for three days. And he said, um, I've been here for 12 years. I said, 12 years? Sound like eternity to me, <laughs> 12 years. I thought, you know, and you've not gone back? And he said, no, no, I'm not going back. And to me, it sounded like, you know, surely I'm not going to do that. And uh, I said, oh, well, I'm only staying here for a maximum of three years and, and I'll go back to Sudan. He said, OK, I'll meet with you when you've finished 10 years. <laughs> and he was right. And, and I've been now for over 18 years. Many doctors will go through difficulties during their career. And Dr. Madawi was no exception. We are humans, we make mistakes. So if you make a mistake, admit to it, learn from it, reflect, make sure it doesn't happen again. But the worst thing that you can do is A, not to talk about the problem, let it escalate, ignore it, it won't go away, it will get worse. Or when you speak to someone, lie about the problem, or don't tell everything, that's even worse. Or worse still, try and cover it up. These are things that you should never do. If you do them, you'll get found out, and then um, the GMC um, treats these kind of behaviours very, very harshly, um, and rightly so. So if you find yourself in difficulties at work, what should you do? Speak to your consultant. Um, explain to him or her plainly what happened, uh, without hiding any of the facts, without uh, telling any untruths, and uh, as I mentioned, if you have made a mistake, admit to it, say, sorry, I've made a mistake, I shouldn't have done this, but anyway, it happened. This is why I think I've done it, and um, I will ensure that I'll learn from it, and it won't happen again.
For more help and guidance on these or related issues, visit the BMA website.